All right, we're ready to start our second session of the afternoon, this time with the University of Oregon. Uh, the two student athletes will come first, followed by coach at the end. Um, we're joined by Jordan Bell and Casey Benson. Let's go to questions for um, either student athlete. Again, questions, bring, I mean, uh, raise your hand, we'll bring the microphone, and please state name and affiliation. Guys, your first question will go on your left toward the front. Neil Best from Newsday. Hey, could you guys both talk about how um, the, your, your team balance helps you, particularly this time of year, just to have so many different options? Yeah, you know, I mean, I think uh, kind of throughout the year we've had different guys step up. Um, and, you know, I think that's the balance is just key. It can be anybody's night uh, on any given night, you know. So knowing that uh, offensively, you know, when we're moving the ball, uh, kind of just – Whoever has the open look is the best shot possible. It's not one certain guy, you know. So um, that's been key for us this year, and uh, you know, just got to keep that uh, unselfishness going. And you wanted Jordan, okay? Oh. I think he wanted you to answer that question. Um, as yeah, well. Casey said um, we're so deep and uh, versatile that any given night anybody can score. So I think that really helps our offense because um, it makes the team guard every single person on the floor at all, at all times. Other questions? Okay, we'll stay on, stay here on the left. So for both players, you know, there's been so much national attention given to Michigan's story with their, what happened with their plane and how they're running the Big Ten, how they got here. How much have you guys heard about that? What do you think about kind of, you know, what you've heard about what they've been through to get here? Um, I had a friend who uh, went to Michigan. He just transferred from there, so I've been watching him a lot and then hearing their story about the plane crash. We've all been rooting for them uh, to win until now, because obviously we want to win. But um, we've all just been cheering them on. Um, we understand that um, going through a thing like that can really like uh, bring a lot of heart and a lot of passion out of people. So I've just been rooting for them. Yeah, definitely what Jordan said. Um, you know, I think definitely an experience like that would just bring you that much closer together, uh, realizing kind of what's important in the grand scheme of things. So definitely they've uh, carried that. Um, you know, since that happened into the postseason, they're playing, you know, at a high level with a lot of confidence. So just got to match the intensity. Okay, we'll move toward the back on the left. Rob Mosley from Go Ducks. Casey, these guys don't uh, seem inclined to turn it over much, um, which make, would make uh, seem to think that transition baskets are, are going to be few and far between. How are you guys feeling about your half court sets and just how you're running your, your half court offense right now? No, we're feeling good. Um, obviously, we uh, you know want to focus on getting stops and getting some easy baskets offensively, which will get us going even more. And uh, but it's just a matter of you know moving the ball, uh, you know, like we've been doing, making plays for each other, and just getting the best shot possible, and, and being patient offensively, making them guard. Okay, a follow on the far back. Jordan, can you address how the last few games with Chris out, you've been de uh, balancing trying to be a, a shot blocking presence while also trying to avoid foul trouble given you, know, you don't have that, that body behind you in the post? Um, yeah, me, I've been trying to do my best to try to stay out of foul trouble. I think I've been doing a pretty good job at that lately. Um, me, just trying to be just as aggressive as I was before, um, knowing I don't have somebody like Chris come in after me. Um, but Cavell comes in, does his work. so just trying to play smarter on the defensive end and be really aggressive on offensive end, try to get their players out of the game, makes it a little easier for the whole team. Okay, again on the far back. I'll try one more. Uh, Michigan guys were just talking about a, a loss to Ohio State that kind of galvanized things for them at the turning point. Do you guys feel, whether it was the Colorado game or something, that they, there was one moment that really kind of galvanized you guys and, and got you guys focused? Uh, yeah, um, you know, I think losing at UCLA was one, too. Um, you know, I f think that was a game that we felt we let slip away. Um, you know, we felt we played good enough to win, but some plays down the stretch, uh, you know, kind of enabled them to obviously get the win. So that was big. And then just regrouping and, you know, winning, uh, you know, kind of however many we've won. So, um, but yeah, those, those were kind of some experiences. Okay, any other questions for either Jordan or Casey? No? All right, guys, we'll let you go back to the locker room for one-on-ones. Uh, thank you for coming, and good luck tomorrow. Appreciate it.